All right, Taylor Swift was out and about yesterday wearing this super adorable little set that literally all of us can make. When I first set my eyes on this, I was like, this is going to be my summer go-to outfit and I want to know how to make it. And if I want to know how to make it, I'm sure you guys do too. So what does any good Swifty do when they see a photo of Taylor's outfits that they like? They go to taylorswiftstyle.com. She is the best and quickest at identifying the clothes that Taylor is wearing. So those are the shoes. And here is the little set. They're both from Ralph Lauren. So let's take a look at the listings from Ralph Lauren and see if we can determine anything about um, like the style lines and all that to help us find a pattern. Now, I get that this is not the easiest <laughs> to see because it's white on white. Like, come on, Ralph. Like, can we not get a little bit better with this? Um, but what we can see is that there is an underbust seam. It looks like this was finished with bias binding here. Can I zoom in? Yeah. All right. Bias binding through here, possibly an underbust seam. There does look like to be underwire in there. And then it even looks like we have some boning, possibly. That looks like a pretty substantial channel. So boning there and there. I'm also noticing, I think that there is a seam line here and here. So that's how we're getting the shape of the bust cup. Let's look at the back, 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 back. Okay, here's the back. All right, so again, I think there's some channels for boning here, three of them, and no zipper. So there must be a side zipper situation happening. Um, but you can definitely see those seam lines here for sure. So that is the shape of our cup. Um, if we go back to the listing, we'll see some information in this section here. Romantic through and through this eyelet embroidered linen bustier. So it's it's linen eyelet, linen fabric that has been embroidered with eyelet. Um, constructed with a sweetheart neckline, shaped cups, and structural boning at the seam. So there is for sure um, at least six instances of boning. Um, details, she tells about the fabric a little bit, slim fit intended to hit at the waist. So it's not technically a crop top. I don't know what the rules are for crop tops, actually. Um, sweetheart neckline, spaghetti straps, concealed left side seam zipper with a hook and eye closure. So they just do a real good job on their, um, invisible zippers, I guess. Underwire at the cups, boning at the seams. The shell is linen and the lining is cotton, probably a batiste or something. Um, okay, and you got that right, $250. I mean, I know, I know. Okay, then this is the skirt that she's wearing. Also, you can see it identified here in taylorswiftstyle.com. Um, but to make it easy, I'm just going to click on it here. And if we take a closer look at this, we can see a few things. Not that one. Um, this one. Okay, so first of all, we have a waist band, like a dedicated band, and then a gathered skirt. Um, and then it's a solid linen up here. And then down here is your embroidery, your eyelet. Different eyelet than the top. And there is a dedicated hem with like a baby hem. So if I'm guessing, I'm gonna say that Ralph Lauren had this embroidered himself or his team did, I don't know, however you wanna phrase it. Um, and that's why they are made from the same linen, but different embroidery altogether. This one has big paisleys, um, a lot more open because it's the bottom half of a skirt and it can be a little bit sheer. I will say that the lining stops about, I don't know, two inches maybe below the hem. And then here's the back. So we have an invisible zipper in the back with a hook and eye. You guys, this is a gathered skirt, okay? Do not be intimidated by this. There are side seam pockets, but you can see the really pretty linen here. All right, so that's what we're looking for, okay? So gathered skirt wise, I mean, you probably have a tutorial or a pattern. If not, then you're just going to make a straight waistband because it's sitting at your hip. And then you're going to do two and a half times that for the width of this fabric. Um, 
and gather it all up into a skirt. Bing, bang, boom, done. Okay. Um, for the bustier pattern, there are some options. So I looked up bustier sewing pattern with underwire because what you don't want is a bustier pattern, uh, possibly like this one, that does not have the dedicated under bust seam. I mean, if you want to be as accurate to Taylor's version as you possibly can. So you can see this uh, McCall's version just has an under bust seam, but not actual cups. So if you want to forego like the difficulty of doing underwire and all of that stuff, um, by all means, this is a great option. And from far away, you will get a very, very similar look. Um, and no one will be the wiser and it'll be a lot easier to sew. Um, just make sure that you lengthen it to the natural waist. So it would need to come all the way down. So you can see, if you see is what the model is wearing. We actually need to extend the band here a few more inches so it hits at your natural waist. But this is a really simple way to do it, but it's not exactly what Taylor's wearing. So that's why you want to search for patterns with a um, under, like underwire. Um, when you do that, you are going to find, so this is the version from Gertie. Um, I kind of wondered what the heck happened to Gertie. I haven't seen her in a while. She hasn't been doing patterns for the big four. It turns out she's converted almost everything to Patreon. So this is Gertie's version. Very, very, very similar to Taylor's. Remember Taylor's had this middle seam and this was on top. I don't make lingerie. I don't know the difference between having this seam here versus here, but you're definitely going to get that, you know, full cup kind of construction. I was trying to see, let's see, boned bodice. Um, and then th this would be the length that you would want to do. And that's all the information that we are going to get. In the back, they have a invisible back zipper. I mean, invisible zipper in the back instead of the side. And you can see through here, this is all a little bit different too. This is a lot more like bra meets top. Um, I think it's for uh, more full busts. And that's why there's all of this construction to help with the construction and the support and all of that that you would need. Um, if you're interested in that one, you have to join her Patreon, which is nine dollars a month and I don't know what that means like this one was from May I don't know if that means you get May's pattern I don't know if you can go ex um, and, and access the back catalog or not the next one I found was uh, seam work obviously you would just chop this off here this is nothing like Taylor's version it ties in the back and does not have under bust cups so that one's out this one was Georgian Ginger. I was looking to see if they had bustier. They do not. They just have a bunch of little bras. They do have a corset, which is a bustier without that under wire. Um, so again, you could convert one of these pretty easily, but again, not super accurate. And then I found this one from Chickafrick, uh, Chickafrick, and similar to Taylor's, it has the you know under bust seam you have this over bust seam but instead of having that one little you know cross seam this one has band like an upper band um this is the back so taylor had three seams this one only has two you do have the invisible side zipper and then in terms of construction I don't think that this one has any boning or underwire, but it has all the seams there. So if you wanted to convert it into that, I think it would be pretty simple. The problem with a lot of these Etsy designers is that their sizing is not great. This only goes up to a US size 16. Um, so that's why the Gertie one might be better if you're more full figured. Um, both really good options. All right, now let's talk about fabrication. So going back to Taylor's version, um, let's look at the top first. Um, not that we have to match it exactly. I think, you know, close is close. Um, but it is a little bit of, you know, there's some like vine type of things. There's daisies. Um, so not an all over eyelet, but not 
you know, a super sparse one either. Um, so you're going to want to look for white eyelet. I did look for linen eyelet and could not find any at all anywhere. Another reason why I think Ralph just had his made. So this is very like linear and very like symmetrical and you know, very not like Taylor's. It is cheap though. Um, this one comes from my textile fabric and again, very linear. You have the rose plus you have the scalloped edge hem. These are all the ones that Etsy has to offer. You can see all very sort of an all over type of embroidery on them. They don't vary too much um, like Taylor's does. I think that they would all work like any eyelet would work. You can pick any of these and it would be fine. It's just the idea of eyelet. This top one here I think would be really pretty. It has like the leaves on it, um, like the leaves stitched in. Here's another good chunk. This one has the daisies all over it, similar to this one, a little bit smaller. So none of these are perfect. This one is beautiful, um, a little pricey, but it is really pretty. I would stay away from the ge geometric looking ones though. You know, I would go, I would lean in toward florally type of designs. This one is a, is that a peony? I'm not good at identifying flowers, but um, I would lean into florals. So this is another really good option. You do have like the scallop detail and the daisy detail. Here's another one that has variations on sizes of daisies. So that would be a good option. We are missing the like viney looking one. Here's one that has the paisley that the skirt has. Um, let's see, some good options on Etsy for sure. If you just look through, oh wait, there was this one from Joanne actually. And I've actually made a top out of this one. I really liked working with it. You can see it's smaller. It's more of a ditzy print, but you do have the daisies and you do have the vines. And this one comes to us from Joanne um, on sale right now. So there's that option too. All right, so for the for the skirt, we are actually looking for a border print, a border eyelet, okay? See how it's not embroidered up top, and then the embroidery kind of like trickles in where you have the daisies and their stems, and then it kind of goes into this paisley. We are not going to find this, okay? There's zero chance. Like, don't even look. Maybe one day we will see it as dead stock fabric, but for right now, it's a gonna be a no, okay? So you're gonna go back to Etsy and I saw, so this is this one. Nope, nope. This is this one. Um, it looks like it's like a taupe color in this photo, but in these, it looks white. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but you can see it's a wall, so it's super lightweight double border. So this is going to be repeated on the other side. And you can see that the height of the embroidery is not very tall. So if you made a midi length skirt, it might come to your knee. So this one wasn't my favorite, but here it is. If you want to find it from Fabulance. And then we had this one, which had all of these like flowers and vines. Now the hem is going to be scalloped. So you're not going to get the straight hem like Taylor's has, which I mean, not always a bad thing. Sometimes you might prefer that. I just feel like this one reads kind of bridal, but you can see how it's very full down here with the embroidery and then it kind of trickles up just like Taylor's does. I wish they showed more of a flat lay of it. I guess that's not what this is. Yeah. So you can see leaves and vines and leaves and vines and they kind of like trickle up. So it was okay, right? Um, then I found this one, which has only the hold embroidery on the bottom. And then again, trickles up into the daisies that are just embroidered without any holes in it at all. Um, but it is cotton. And I wanna say because borders is plural, I'm gonna think it's repeated on the other border. Um, so what that means is, do they even tell you the, yeah, so it's 53 inches white cotton fabric with four lace and border on both sides. So that means you only get half of this to use. So 53 divided by two is like 24 and a half or something. Um, so just measure your, the length that you want your skirt 
if you're if the length of it is less than 24 and a half minus some so let's call it 20 if the length is less than 20 then you can buy half the yardage that you would think you would need for all that gathering because then you can just use the top and the bottom does that make any sense oh gosh it, i'm making it a little bit complicated here but i'm just trying to save you guys some money so if it is a double border you cut it right down the middle and then you use this side for the back of the skirt and this side for the front of the skirt okay and then this looks to be the same as that one but maybe a little bit different let's look oh so this is only okay this is only the trim so that's not going to work and feel free to use tailors as inspiration and you know make your own version i think this is an absolutely stunning fabric i would love to sew something out of that um you know but you can do like a colored cotton instead of white um especially if you've had your colors done and you know that white is not like the best for you um but yeah there's a lot of really great options in here and like i said it's super super easy to sew Ooh. um there's no reason why we couldn't make this what is it it's a 750 dollars garment then we could probably make for at most 50 dollars um so i encourage you all to go give it a shot here it is on taylor one more time and um yeah let me know if you end up making this i'm going to start ordering all my supplies you can follow me on tiktok um, or instagram for you know to follow me along on this journey of making this little cute little set that's going to do it for me today y'all thanks so much for watching i will see you all very soon bye